Coach Taggart, tough first season. Day one of the offseason, what did you walk in and tell this team and how did you attack the offseason? I didn't think we could move forward without understanding what we did wrong. And I got bought into all the things that we said and, and I hadn't looked back since. What were some of the lessons that you took away from last year that you'll bring into this season? Well, I think discipline is, is a huge part of it, whether it's on the football field and, or off the football field and coming together as a team, playing for one another. And you see it in our guys now and holding each other accountable and, and uh, we're not pulling teeth to get guys to do anything. They're, they're excited about being there and they're excited about uh, writing the ship. James Blackman, Alex Hornerbrook comes over from Wisconsin. What have you seen from the quarterback court? Well, those guys have been working. Um, just from what I'm hearing from other guys, they work on their days off, have guys out there working with them, and that's something that we didn't see before. And James has done a great job, and, and Alex has done a great job coming in and, and being part of the football team. They'll have a great running back running behind them, Cam Akers. What is he going to do this year in his junior season? Well, I think uh, towards the end of last year, Cam was kind of Cam kind of made up his mind what he wanted to be and how he wanted to be, and he's been totally locked in ever since then. Whether it's academically, football, and I'm um, expecting Cam to have a big year. Cam's a great dude. You know, Cam's in my one, in my lip group. And, uh, Cam's actually made me a whole lot better this, uh, this off season, though, especially going from my lower body. A lot of people talk about my lower body little. But Cam, he, he, you know, he's a little muscle hamster, so you know how. So Cam, get me right. Tamari and Terry on the outside, one of the biggest threats in the ACC. What's he look like to you this offseason? Uh, great. I mean, just like the rest of the guys, they all have been working really hard uh, to get better. And uh, Tamari, he's gained a little weight. He's got stronger, uh, faster, and um, looking for him to have a um, an outstanding sophomore season. Staying focused and just working on uh, my craft, like coming off the ball, you know, coming off the ball more, more aggressive, high-pointing high the ball, stuff like that. Just really staying focused, you know, buying the end to the season. What's the key to unlocking this offense, the potential that you saw when you came to Florida State? Oh, just consistent execution. You know, we got to execute um, on a consistent basis, and, and we, have, we have the talent, we have the skill. Uh, we got to we got to do it at a high level and do it all the time, and uh, I think we'll see it. Defensively, what was the focus of this coaching staff this offseason? Well, just making sure we're putting, our, uh, putting the right guys in the right position to be able to do some of the things that we want them to do and, and allow our guys just to go play football and not think much, you know, and, and we want to be aggressive. You know, we have some aggressive kids, and we coach aggressively, and, and we want to see that on Saturdays. The little things, you know, and um, people don't understand how uh, the little things are gonna kill, can really kill a game, you know. Um, ten guys can do their job, be uh, whooping butt up front, and one guy is not doing the job. That's a touchdown, you know, and people don't understand how crucial that is in football, you know. We really, I mean, we're trying to work together as a unit, uh, as a defense, as a team, really. You know, everything is trying to focus in, that everything matters, and everything counts. So we, we wake up every day, been working our butts off on, in the field, in the weight room, you know, everything we do, we're trying to, trying to maximize everything matters. Coach, what is your message to those out there across the country that think Florida State's best days are behind? Uh, what's my message to those folks? Just watch and see. We're going to prove them wrong. I can tell you that. Man, we ain't doing no talking. We're going to come around August 28th. We're just going to show everybody. 